Hello everyone, this is me Farid Fana, your friend, guide and instructor in this channel. In this video, today we are going to look at the next tool of Adobe Illustrator which is Mesh Tool. You may guys have heard about Mesh Tool, how it works, we have worked on selection tools, we have worked on Gradient, have you? No, we haven't worked on Gradient Tool. Next tool which we're gonna look at will be gradient tool. We can give colors to shapes to our illustrations in many other ways. For example, we have given color in solid. We can also give color in gradient, which we can look in our next video. But today, how can we give colors in random places? If you guys have hundreds of anchor points, you can give hundreds of different colors through Mesh Tool. So let's come to our screen. This tool is called Mesh Tool, which is after Perspective Grid Tool. In Mesh Tool, when you over on it, it will guide you how it works. The tool name is Mesh Tool. The shortcut key is U. Create and edit meshes and mesh envelope. For example, let's create a circle or whatever shape your K weight created. Right now, it has a white, solid white color. First, let's change it so it's more visible. For example, I'm gonna keep orange color. Now, when you click on your mesh tool, first of all, the object you want to apply mesh tool on should be selected. Then it will give you something like this. If you are not over on your object, it won't give you any option. But when you over in the object, then it will give you a plus mark and with a grade. Wherever you want to click, you can create an anchor point there. If you click here, it also create anchor points. It will be in the shape of plus. The other lines will be automatically connect to the other points whether it is overlapping, crossing a point or whether it is ending the shape. Right now we are not looking to something like this. I'm just demonstrating to you guys how it works, how mesh tool works. After creating some anchor points or vertex, let's go click on your direct selection tool and click on your vertex or anchor point whichever anchor point you want to change its color after selecting the anchor point let's come to your solid colors and change it to something red and if you click on this anchor point change it to something like this not just the middle anchor points you have created you can also change the anchor points which are at the edge of your shape click on it go to your colors change its color to whichever color suits your design to work with our mesh tool in more advanced way i've selected a fruit for you guys how can we create this fruit through our mesh tool this is the fruit i've selected first of all what will be the first thing we're gonna do right we're gonna create a shape for example let's go to our pen tool i'm gonna create if you're not selecting your pen tool, you can also work with your ellipse tool. Just go and create an ellipse. And if I make it more accurate, go add some anchor points. The next thing which we're gonna do is directly jumping to our mesh tool. Go to your mesh tool first of all, change the color so we can easily see our mesh which is created on our shape okay the thing which we have forgotten about is creating a new layer and moving your path or creating your path in the next layer earlier when i was creating our mesh i have moved or mistakenly moved my shape for locking the shape you can easily go and click on your layer in which the reference image is go to this three lines or options go click on template then it will be locked now you can't move it it's not movable you can easily create your shape but right now i don't need that let's get rid of the template let's create the mesh on our avocado change the color to something like this so i can see my mesh which is in orange color the color of shape which we created was orange too, so it was a little bit hard to see. Let's divide the shape or let's create the mesh. As much lines as you create, the more details you can give to your shape. So far, this much is enough. The next process will be 
coloring each acre parts. In our presentations are earlier, which we practiced our mesh on the circular ellipse tool, in that we didn't need to see the reference. But right now, how can we give the exact color to exact vertex from the reference? The shortcut key or the easy way is go to your, this layer is your reference image and this one is your illustration. Hold control key and click on this visibility toggle. Then the only sequence will be visible. Other parts are uh, polygons or surface or fill color. It is there, but you can't see it. You have click on invisibility of your fill so you can easily find out which color should I give to which vertex. Now let's go and click on your direct selection tool. Select all the vertex which are on the edge of your shape. Done. Go to your eyedropper tool, click on the darker point of your reference image or fruit, whatever it is. Now I have given single color, darker color to the border of my shape. If you go and hold control again and click on this, you can see the edge is colored dark. But the problem is in our reference image, it's not that dark or the darkness is not that much which overlaps the other part of your shape so what we do go again to your mesh tool we can create another thin line yeah that's enough and select all the other vertex which you have created with this thin line. And select this color so the only border should get the color of dark edge. And let's get rid of all the other vertex or let's give color to all the other vertex so I can have only a thin line of my dark border. The one thing you guys may have thought that how can I switch between the tools in my toolbar to direct selection tool and eyedropper tool without using any shortcut key or without pressing each shortcut key of my tools. It's an easy way. Go to your direct selection tool, then click on your eyedropper tool. What can you do through that? When you click on your eyedropper tool, before eyedropper tool, you have selected direct selection tool. By the time you hold control, it directly jumps to your direct selection tool, but it hasn't selected here. So you can easily hold your control, select your direct selection tool. When you release all button, it will change back to your eyedropper tool. So this is the way. Let's go back to your layer, hold our control, click on it, select all the vertex around the edge then select the color which is near to the vertexes you have selected then we need to go back to your visibility so this is the second line you have created the problem is we haven't set color to this line of our shape that is why it gives you a yellow color so the next thing will be changing the color of these vertex Voila, the next step is also done. Let's come to the second layer. The third layer, this one. Select all the vertexes. Then add this color. The next layer. The question is, why haven't we set the colors for? One thing I want to make sure you guys understood that the more vertex you add, the more anchor points you add, the more accurate the colors get. For example, if I add another line here, because it's too thick, the colors are spread it too much, and I can give 
accurate colors to the slide as well and the next thing i want to make you guys sure that why we haven't colored this part of my avocado because we are going to create another shape for them let's go and hide this one let's create another layer and in this layer i'm gonna create a circle through my selection tool direct selection tool pen tool our shape is done the next part will be mesh tool let's create a mesh in this mesh we are going to create a lot of lines so we can get exact colors our mesh is created the next thing is coloring the mesh go to your direct selection tool and click back on click back on your eyedropper tool let's select the vertex which are located on the edge of your shape or circle whatever you have drew okay till this section i'm gonna color the dark area because it is darker uh, from here on i'm gonna color each one separately because the color is blended here so when it is blended then it should get several colors Now one thing you can also do with, you can relocate your mesh as well, like at this point I'm gonna hold it here, drag it here, to make this circle perfect, this point, I'm gonna bring it down here. So this is how it will look, let's select on these points. And add this color. Select this point, add this color, select this point in one by one. Select all the colors you have in your circle. When you click back on your shape, still we don't have much mesh or much anchor points to give accurate colors. Still, you can add meshes here. Go to your mesh tool. When you click on your mesh, click here so you can add another mesh. You click this here. See? It's easy, you can give points, you can give colors or wherever you want to put anchor points, you can do that. But not single anchor point, you're going to add a full row or column of line. Now let's do the process to all the other vertex of my shape. Okay, so far so good. The only thing which we need to do some troubleshooting. These points like this, the lines should be more aligned or it shouldn't be blended. So for that, let's arrange or let's bring these anchor points closer. And let's change these colors to something like this. Yeah, I think what looks good. Now let's turn on the other shape of ours. So this is something we have created with the help of our mesh tool from the reference we had. So we created something like this with the help of this image we have through mesh tool. And Illustrator, now you guys know you can give color or you can make each vertex obtain a different color. So this was mesh tool. Practice it, design something, share with me in my Facebook channel or Instagram or in the comments of this video. I hope you guys understood something. If you liked it and you learned something, I know it was a little bit lengthy, but it worth it, didn't it? I hope it did and share it with your friends. Thank you.